Look at this. Here we are. We're gonna go in. It's chilly out. Yeah. It's chilly out. Mm -hmm. That means chilly weather is train weather. That's it. Chilly weather is train weather. All right. So we're here. I guess they got a little layout here. Different types of trains. All right. We got all these ready to run sets. I think we're we're here. Let's pick up a ready to run set so we can go around the Christmas tree. See, they have their tree all set up here in the store. And uh, yeah, see, perfect size down there for a a ready to run set. So let's see. Let's. What do we want to choose from? We got the Santa Fe, the Polar Express. We got a Kansas City Southern. That is a Mickey one. Christmas, yeah. Mickey Christmas one. All right, we got a Winter Wonderland here. Star Trek. Wow, for all those uh, Star Trek fans, those Trekkies. They need a Star Wars one. Yeah, they do. They do need a Star That's Wars a one. Shirt. I know. Yes. <laughs> okay, you got. We well, got NASA. You got a, a NASA yeah. one here. You know. Outer space. You got the Harry Potter, Potter set. Frozen. Frozen. We got C and O, right? Chesapeake and Ohio. Chessie. We got Union Pacific. Like Lionel did a really good job of coming up with all these variations. Something Toy for Story. everyone. Toy Story, look yeah. at that. We got Woody. We got Woody on the cover and Woody's actually driving it. Look at that. <laughs> Woody's driving. Buzz Lightyear is in a uh, a car. Wow. And then we got we got a United States one, a Christmas one. Oh, yeah, that's the Army one, Hobby Shop exclusive. Wow. What are those? No, they've been making. That's a, a Thomas, Thomas Thomas the Tank set, right? Look at that. You know, this is the perfect way to get someone involved. Oh, this one, this ready to run set has the uh, light up track in it. Ooh. Ooh. The what North Pole Center, track? the one that you like, that light up track. The light up track. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, so, yeah. yeah. And there's a one that comes out. And there's so many more. So, mm. well, I think. I, would I don't know. Do well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Um, I let's see. Uh, we got so much to choose from. So what do you think? All right. What? What has happened? <laughs> what is this? What, what is, is that? What is that? I think, I think, mm, I think which set, I think I know what set you want. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. All right. But, but it's so high. How are you going to get it down? How do we get this down? Oh, and there's two cards. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's, what's the spell? What do you have to say? God, you love me, love stuff. Try it one more time. Vingaria Levelosa. Look at this. Oh, the this. Dementors. That's an add on. An <laughs> add on, yes. Which Wait. is great about it because. We can add on to a ready to run set? We can yes. add on to a ready to run set because even though this ready to run set it was already made, Lionel always comes out with extra cars. So every single year, they may have a car that they come out with that you can add on to the set. This way it's not just, oh, you get it and that's it and you're stuck with those same cars forever. Nope, you can add on additional one. I think this is the one we need to get, right? You picked it out, you got it off with your magic spell, you got it off the shelf. Yeah. All right. Next time you see us, we're gonna be running this around a Christmas tree. Hi everyone, this is WTF, Wench Train Fanatics. I'm Michael. I'm Hermione. Um, actually, I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Jennifer. And we're excited to share with you Lionel's Hogwarts Express that we purchased from New York Electric Trains. This ready to run set is so simple that even if your Christmas tree is already up, we can get this up and running. Stay tuned. I Hello, Hermione.
So with Lionel's latest ready-to-run set for the Hogwarts Express, it actually includes the special Dementors coach car with sound effects. If you've purchased a previous version from Lionel, you do have the ability to add on this special car for an additional cost. But with the latest, as we said here, that price includes the power, the track, the engine. We have then the three cars. So here are the elements that come within this package. Uh, we have our locomotive, we have our coal tender that attaches right to the back of that and we'll show that later on. We have our transformer here which plugs directly into your regular wall outlet um, and that provides power to this track. You get in here, you get eight pieces of curved track and you get four pieces of straight track. Uh, two of them are normal pieces. One is where you're going to plug in your power adapter and the other one is that you can put in a power plug and play. This way if you have some type of accessory and then you want to expand on your set, you can plug that in and it'll provide power to the accessory straight from through the track, straight from the transformer. As Jennifer mentioned, you also get the three passenger cars, one including the Dementor car, um, and then you also have your uh, handheld control right here. And with that, you can control the speed, the reverse, the forward, you can do a bell sound, uh, passenger. Uh, passenger announcements, and the horn. And then here you also get some smoke fluid uh, in addition to traction tires. Now traction tires, major difference between a post-war engine or engines that, that, you know, the old classic Lionel ones. Magna traction. Magna traction is that these come with rubber wheels so that it's easier for the locomotive to pull all of the passenger cars around the loop. Now, the way these tracks are, Okay, they are, they measure if you make it an oval, if you use all of the pieces, you put the two long ones together and then you put the curved ones at the end, it is going to measure 40 inches in width and 60 inches in length. So you're going to need five feet wide that way and a little bit less than four feet uh, from this way to this way. Now, we have a tree set up here. It's sitting on a box. We actually have two options. We don't necessarily need to do the oval. We can turn around and use one straight piece on each side, making it almost a square with round edges on it. Uh, so it'll almost be sort of a circle, but a combination between a circle and a, and a square. Um, so you have that flexibility of being able to change the size, uh, change the shape of your track, what you want to do. And what's really neat is that you don't have to build a special platform. It's very simple that you just put the track, lay it down, and with the new fast track, it looks as if it has the... Um, the ballast. Bedding, the ballast bedding yep. there. So it, it looks like it's ready to go and very simple. Hey guys, we're going to show how a woman and a child can put this track together. Yep. Let's do it, Mackenzie. Line it up, push the two ends in, and go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ready? One last wiggle. And snap. There you go. Ta da! So like we said before, in this set, we have eight corner pieces and four straight pieces. Two are regular pieces. We have two powered tracks sections here. There are for two different reasons. One, this one is so that we can plug in the AC adapter, which goes into the wall. And the other one is for our plug and play so that you can buy an additional accessory um, and be able to connect to it and it'll operate off of that device. There's two distinct differences between these two pieces of track. You have this one here, which has the U shape here, uh, and it's a cylinder connection, hmm. which matches the cylinder connection that's here. This one here that Jennifer's holding is a square uh, and actually has three or four metal pins in it. Pins. That, so that, that connection adapter that you get for your accessory fits right into there. Both of them have a red powered light on it. Mm -hmm. um, and you, would always, you just want to be mindful of where this is going to go because of the fact that when you plug it in, you want to make sure that this piece is always sticking out away, not that you have to run your power through or underneath the track. Um, and that the other one, if you don't have a plug-in accessory, don't worry about it. You can still use that piece of track. 
Now, with this here, what's great about the, the evolution of these is that with the fast track, you can change this any direction you want. Yeah. Those of you who have had you know experience with using the tubular track, the, the, the three rail track that came out many decades ago, that could only go one direction. You only had pins going in one direction. These have been designed over the last 10, 15 years that these have existed. They've been designed so that they can be switched in any direction that you want. It's that simple? It's that simple. Yeah. I guess I don't have an excuse anymore for helping to set up the track. No, not at all, right? Now we know you have the strength that you can do it. You can, it's so easy to plug them together. It's, o it's always power. easy to organize. All right, <laughs> stay tuned. So Mackenzie, on that track is the red light on where the wire connects. Is that on? Is that on Mackenzie? No. No? No, all right. So that means that there's no power going to the track, which is great. Go ahead and hit that power switch there. Ooh. Now, if you notice that the engine, right, is now making a chirping noise because it's not able to identify the remote that's turned on or the app, the Bluetooth app. You got your blinking headlight turning on, which is also a visual indicator that there is nothing that's synced. So, hey, Papa, why don't you get this remote, get the uh, handheld remote, all right? Handheld. The handheld remote. Now, many of our of our followers have said that they weren't sure if they were able to set up these depending on their age. So we want to make sure that this is so foolproof that even a papa can operate it. Yeah. All right. It's her, it's her father. Yeah, papa, if you notice that there's a switch on the one side with big lettering says on off, do you want to go ahead and turn that to the on position? Now before this, we did put in three AAA batteries, which is not included with the set, okay? Now we notice that the headlight is now solid. Solid. We got a red light on there. We got a pretty loud Dementor car going off right now. So now, Papa, if you go ahead, if you see that on the top there's a turn dial. One says forward, one says reverse. Why don't you go ahead and turn it slightly to the forward position. Okay. And just like that, this train is started. A matter of plugging it in, Turning the switch on on the handheld, and then you can go and start it just by that, just by holding it there. Now you, he can sit there, and if you notice that it's only about a third of the way speed, he can make it go faster if he wanted, he can make it go slower. And it's got chuffing sounds. If we had smoke fluid in here right now, we would see the smoke would, would come out at the same rate as the chuffing. You just see how it goes through. Now, Papa, you'll also notice that in that handheld, there's on the bottom of that dial, there are three buttons. One is a bell all the way on the left. You press it once to turn it on, and then you can press it again to turn it off. I think this is the very first time that my father has operated one of these latest trains. Yeah. All right. There you go, there's the, the whistle. And if you press the one in the middle, that's going to be your station announcements, your, your passenger announcements. Mackenzie, show Papa where to push. Paul Weasley. Harry. So now, obviously, with different sets, you're going to have different themes. You're going to have different announcements. These, these are all from the first uh, the first Harry Potter that came out when they all met on the train. So all of this, the sounds that you're going to hear are coming from the Harry Potter first series movie. So again, this is a perfect set. You're ready to run set. It's got everything you need in the one package. You, you know, a, your grandchildren can use it. You know, grandparents can use it. The tracks are easy to be put together that, you know, my daughter and my wife are able to do this. That's that special car. Yeah, right in the middle because this is the, the brand new set, the most recent set that came out, the Dementor car is already included. 
We showed you the add-on that if you had the older version of the Harry Potter set, one of the came out a couple of years ago, you could always add on the Dementor car. Alright, so why don't we bring it around to the front and then have it stop. Okay, stop it. Stop, then we can stop, go stop, ahead stop, and put it in reverse. Stop it. Let's put it in reverse. So here we are with the Lion Chief app that is accessible through both the Apple and Android products, whether it's going to be a smartphone or a tablet. And this is pretty neat because it gives us additional features that we're able to utilize to keep it safe for our children to use and they're not going to run it off the track like I did when I was younger. Sorry, Mom! So this says here that we have a train that is available and it's featured at the top. So we're going to click on that. And after doing so, it will show us the Hogwarts Express is ready to go. So we click the link. the link. There is a linking button on the app. And it says now it is connecting to the Bluetooth engine. Keep in mind, the power needs to be applied to the track. The train needs to be on the track so that this way the, the, the electronics within the um, locomotive can communicate with the cell phone. Oops. Now you can use your cell phone. I just phone. put it to a hot spot. You can use your cell phone. You can use a mobile device. If you have an iPad or if you have, um, you know, uh, any, any device that you want to use, any smart device, you're able to use this app. The larger the display, the better maybe. Um, but anyone with a smartphone, which is almost any, you know, any teenager now or, or any adult almost, um, you know, readily available at their hands. And this is a free app, right? You do not have to pay for this Lion Chief app. Um, it's, you know, it's free for everyone, for Apple and Android users. And it's a great tool, you know, to take it just to, uh, to enhance the experience. So right. now that it shows that it's hooked up to the Hogwarts Express, 5972-460-O gauge. Okay, and you can go ahead and hit that X button to get out of that screen. Okay, which is down here. Yep, and now it'll take you to your full controls. With this, you have the ability of doing forward and reverse. If you notice that down here, it says FWD, which means that the position that it's going to go in is forward. You have your ability for your horn, your station sounds, and your bell. So all the features that you were able to have on your remote, you also have in your handheld here. Now, how do we fix it again so that we don't go faster than a certain speed, so this way it doesn't run off the track? You can click on that cogwheel that's gonna be right here, and then you should see something that that says right here is your is how fast you can go so let's say here's your speed limit it says speed limit right on side okay so you can sit there and you can lower it to that and then you can just hit the X button here and this way whether you have a young child if you have uh, you know any kind of individual can sit there and operate this and you don't have to worry about it going off the track now Keep in mind that with the app, you have this control. With the handheld, you do not have this limit control. Are you full throttle on the app, Mac? Are you all the way up with your throttle? Why don't you go up with your throttle? Hold, press, click, and slide it up. Okay. That's as fast as it will go, right? Yep. Because Again, we set the controls. We would need this for back when I was younger. Okay. So again, you have all of the options in there. You can hear the sounds, you know, anyone at any age. Yesterday we had the pleasure of uh, meeting Megan Fraser, who is the um, director of product development. We had a nice conversation. How project manager. Project over manager now. over at Lionel. Um, 
And it was a, we had a great conversation talking about these ready to go sets and, and how key and instrumental they are to getting people into the hobby or getting them back into the hobby if they've, you know, were, you know, were collectors or operators many, many years ago and want to get back into it. Again, there's a lot of thought and a lot of strategy behind these. So we have a special promotion going on with our friends over at New York Electric Trains. When you use the WTF at checkout, you can get $10 off a $100 purchase. And Again, this is where we got our wonderful ready to run set. So many different options available. And again, that promo code WTF can be at nyelectrictrains.com or on their site, on their uh, store out in Manorville, Long Island, New York. train that you can leave out for your Halloween theme or Christmas. Again, has everything you need. Huh? So, when this train is going, um, so Harry and um, Ron and um, Hermione. Hermione talk, but when you stop it, it's... What There must be a mistake. Hermione, it's it's only... There's no such thing. So what you're noticing is that when the train is stopped, it has one set of announcements. announcements, right? As if Harry's outside the train. But when it was running, it has it when they're in the train. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Wow, that's pretty neat. You picked up on that. So one of the great features with this new locomotive, with the newer technology, is that you have the ability of doing voice commands uh, from that app. So not only can you control it manually, but you can also control it by your voice. So I'm gonna hit the button in the upper right hand corner, which is located right above the throttle. And as it's making its noise. Forward direction. Slow speed. Voice McKenzie. Is he a, is he magical like a wizard? No! It's just Lion Chief's app. Wait, do I need this? Medium speed. Medium speed. Maybe McKenzie should try with the wand. That's McKenzie needs a wand. Slow speed. Sound whistle. Daddy forgets that it's a steam engine, so it's a whistle. Activate bell. <laughs> this is the wizard. And stop. Stop. Bell. Just like that. Well, again, hopefully you pick one of these up or maybe even two of them. Pick one up for your own tree and pick one up for your grandchildren. Again, the ready to run set, it's got everything you need in one box. We were fortunate to get it from our friends at New York Electric Trains. Yeah, and just like that, we have a ready to run set in a matter of a couple of minutes, putting it together, putting the train on the track, and being able to enjoy hours and hours of fun around the Christmas tree. Again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that train bell so you get notified every time. So you get notified every single time we yeah, upload a new video. Turn off bell. Turn off bell. 
We hope Nana and Grandpa will be happy to be running this new set around their tree. And this is Michael and Jennifer from WTF Wenstream Fanatics signing, signing off. off. Who's gonna? Okay. <laughs> Usually you okay. do. All right. And then she's the. Now where? I saw. I just realized okay. I'm looking at the monitor. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I you... got. Today we're excited. We're gonna be reviewing. Oh. Oh God. So today we're excited. We're gonna be reviewing this ready to run oh. set. <laughs> So with Lionel's latest ready-to-run set for the Hogwarts Express, it actually includes the special 